Hey, what's up YouTube? I've got another knife review for you. Today I have an Ontario knife. Yes, this is a, it's a Rat 1 folding knife. It's got red G10 handle scales and there's a big upgrade to the steel. All right, hold on. This has got thumb studs. Let me take my glove off. Easier to open it. All right, it's colder than a witch's tit out here, by the way, but there you go, right? Now the steel on this is CPM S35VN, yes. And the price on this, around $100. I think this is a very, very good deal. All right, here's a closer look at the knife for you. It's just very attractive in that red. You see the pocket clip there. Open pillar construction. G10 handle scales, right? Slightly textured G10 handle scales. It's got two thumb studs as your openers. Little bit of jimping on a thumb ramp there. It is a full flat grind, right? And the steel, as you can see, this is a Rat Model 1 S35VN, right? Randall's Adventure Training. Now the blade length on this is about 3.6 inches by my measure and that S35VN steel that's going to have superior edge retention and it is also a stainless steel. It is a liner lock and uh, it has no blade play, no side to side, no front to back. It, it's a very it's a very good lockup on this. Now by making that blade a little extra wide it gives you more belly. And it also makes it good for uh, shearing cuts and like mincing as well. Yeah, that is a beauty. I mean, this is probably my favorite version of this whole series of folders, right? They save the best for last. I'm, I'm definitely glad that I picked this up. Okay, the weight on the knife. We've got 148.9 grams. Let's change the unit. 5.25 ounces. Now this is my notch stick. I've already been testing some fixed blades on this. I chopped those notches, but now we're just going, going to do it the, uh, the old push cut method here. Yeah, Ontario knives over the years, man. I have a lot of their knives, especially the fixed blades. I've always liked Ontario knives. Definitely the SP53. It's one of my favorite beast knives. All right, so we got it. We got a shallow notch going here. All right, so there you go. So you can practice your uh, bush craftiness with this knife. All right, let's whittle a little on this piece of wood. All right, sorry for any background noise. Might hear some trucks going by. Drawing it down a piece of wood. Now Rat is actually Randall's Adventure Training. So it's actually not unusual to do woodwork with even one of their folders, right? It's doing a good job drawing it down this little piece of wood. Now let's do a little finer work there. Now this came very sharp, definitely. Yeah, so... Uh, Oh, you gotta like sharpen a pencil or something or if you had to carve like a little tent stake does excellent all right so that was easy all right i've got some bike tire tubing there you go Got a piece of a box just in case you forgot your utility knife. This can serve. Now, this is a thick piece. All right, but there you go. Yep, so it can do the utility function. Uh, rescue yourself. There you go. All right, here it is in pocket. Let's just pretend I'm right-handed. So there's a close-up of that pocket clip. Seems to work okay. Here's that deployment again. It's smooth. This is my offhand. All right, you want to flick it out with those thumb studs? You definitely can. 
All right, comes out very fast. Now this is made in Taiwan for Ontario knives. Final thoughts on this, very glad that I picked it up. I love the upgraded steel, right? And as far as the deployment, the sharpness, the lockup, those were all first rate. So I definitely feel like I got my money's worth with this. You could use it as a pocket knife. You could use it as just like a, like a camping folder, that type of thing. It really could be used for many different functions or just, you know, day-to-day -day cutting chores. Well, all right, I hope you enjoyed seeing this knife. If you like stuff like this, consider subscribing and try to use the links below the video because those help support the channel. All right, I'm out.